G'day kids, Aussie here. Today, we're gonna to learn about a really cool sport called Rugby League, or as it's known here in Australia, NRL. First, we're gonna learn some of the basics. Then, we're gonna to go together down to the park and have a throw and a kick at the footy. And then once we're all tired, we're gonna sit back and enjoy a good book about Rugby League. So come on, let's get stuck into it. Now Rugby League is played with a ball like this. It's a bit of a funny shape with some pointy ends but what kind of a shape does it look like to you? That's right, it's an oval. Good job, kids. Now rugby league is played outside on a field just like that. That's a rugby league field, but do you know what shape that is? That's right, it's a rectangle. Great job, kids. Now league is played by two teams who line up facing each other on the field. And the idea is to pass the ball like this to the other teammates in your team. Each team gets a chance to run the ball, passing it to each other, trying to get down to the other end to try and score what's called a try. And that's when you put the ball on the ground. And if you score a try, you get one, two, three, four points. So once you've scored a try, you get a chance to kick a conversion or a goal kick. And that's worth another two points. So that's Four points for the try, two points for the goal, that's six points, how cool is that? Now rugby league is played all around the world, but it's super popular here in Australia, especially around state of origin time, when the Queensland Maroons take on the mighty New South Wales Blues. Now a few of my favourite players of all time are Andrew Joey Johns and Freddie Fittler, played for the mighty New South Wales Blues. But I guess there were some good Maroons players too, Wally Lewis, Cam Smith, and JT. Do you have any favourite players? Now rugby league is a super fun game to watch and play, but the best thing about learning to play league is getting down the park and throwing the footy around with your mates and practising those kicks. So who wants to come down to the local field and have a kick with Aussie? Come on, let's go! Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Aussie, 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 boy. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of G'day kids, Aussie here. So today we've come down to the local field and we're going to learn how to play and talk about the different skills you need to know to play footy, rugby league or NRL as it's called here in Australia. Now who can help Aussie remember the different skills you need to know to play footy? Passing, that's right, that's an important one. What else do you need to know? Catching, you need to know how to catch the ball, don't you? Another important one is tackling, of course. And that's one that we'll do more and more of as we get bigger and bigger through the different age groups. And a really important skill if you wanna get past the players in the other team and get down to the other end and score a try, is learning how to step. All right, so if you wanna just get a footy, I'm gonna show you guys different types of passes. So there's two main types of passes and the first one you'll learn when you're just getting into rugby league is a six o'clock pass. And that's when you hold your hands on either side of the footy like that. A good little guide is to put your middle finger on the seams. That way you know you've got your hands even. So the idea is to step in the direction you want the footy to go and you look that direction and you point your hands in that direction too and that way the footy will go exactly where you want it to go. So we'll just do that one again, the six o'clock pass. Hold your hands even like that. Step and keep your eyes and your hands in the direction you want the footy to go. So the next pass is a spiral pass. Okay, and that's when you want the ball to fly further through the air by making it spiral. Okay, this is one you'll be using more as you get bigger and bigger so you can get the ball to go really far to your teammate out on the wing. Okay, and you want to hold the ball with your hands on the ends of the footy, on each side of the footy, just like that. And the idea is that when you pass it and you let the ball go, you flick your wrists and use your fingers to make it spin. 
or spiral through the air. Let's try it. Okay, let's try that again, hey? Okay, you step, make sure you flick your wrists and your fingers and make the ball spiral through the air. Okay, the next skill is catching. Okay, if we can get that ball again. All right, so that's a catch. And you can catch it out in the front like that or catch it close. Make sure you keep your chest behind it so it doesn't fall out the sides. The main thing to remember when you're catching the footy is to keep your eyes on the footy. Don't look away before the footy gets to your hands, otherwise you might drop it. Let's go and do some passing and catching. Let's go. See it, watch the ball all the way into your hands, just like that. Oh, good pass, Ozzy. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Oh, good six o'clock pass. Nice spiral, Ozzy. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. That's it. Oh, perfect spiral. A nice catch out in front from me. Great pass. Oh, great spiral. Okay, six o'clock pass. Yes, Ozzy. Great pass. Okay, third skill, a really important one if you want to get past the players on the other team, is a sidestep. So that's when you run one direction, you plant your foot into the ground, and then you change directions and step the other way really quickly, and then run that direction. And when you get bigger, and you practice this more and more, you get to learn how to do it on your right foot or your left foot. Hey, a really good way to practice is to use some cones. Let's, let's see if Ozzy can do some stepping. Yeah! Okay, so does anyone remember how to score in footy? That's right, you've got to get it all the way down to the other end of the field, past the goal post, and put the ball down over the line. So if you've got time, you can just place it down like that. But if you're a bit rushed and someone's coming to tackle you, you're gonna dive over the line. Make sure you have that ball tucked in under the arm so you don't, don't drop it. So you dive over the line. And how many points do we get for a try? Four points, awesome. Then we get a chance to kick the goal for an extra two points. That's a conversion or a goal kick. Come with Aussie, let's see if we can kick some goals. Try time, Aussie! Four points. Okay, so we've just scored a try right under the post, which mean we, means we get a chance to kick a conversion or a goal kick right in front. We're gonna use, usually, a kicking tee or a cone in our case. I'm gonna place the ball down like that. And the idea is to take a few steps back, make sure you're watching the ball Kick it at the bottom, straight through the post. Let's see if Ozzy can do it. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy! Yo, beauty! So kids, I hope you had lots of fun today learning how to play footy with Aussie. I certainly had lots of fun learning different things like passing, catching, stepping, learning how to score a try, and of course, kicking a conversion. So make sure you keep practicing. Maybe one day you'll be able to play for the mighty Cronulla Sharks, Brisbane Broncos, or maybe even the Blues or the Maroons in the state of origin. Until then, stay keen. See you next time with Aussie. Cheers. Ozzy, 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 Ozzy! Ozzy, 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 boy. Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Ozzy here. So we've learnt lots about rugby league, or footy. We've been down to the park and we've had a throw and a kick of the footy. Now let's sit back together and read a good book about footy. And this one is one of my favourites. It's called When I Grow Up, I'm Going to Play for the New South Wales Blues. The Mighty Blues. A 
It's written by Gemma Carey. Out you go, said Mum, and the screen went black. No, wailed Jack. I was 12 nil up. Very good, said Mum. Now go and play outside. Jack glanced at the window and saw their cat Furball scowling in the rain. But... Soon Jack found himself outside, standing in a puddle. What was he meant to do out here? His football was flat and there was no one to play with. I know, he said, bounding indoors. Uh oh, the dripping furball saw his chance and darted into the kitchen. Furball! howled Mum. No! Furballs brought the mud in and made a big old mess of the papers and the computer. On the back of his bedroom door, Jack found what he wanted. It was the New South Wales Blues jersey. Look, he's got New South Wales Blues jerseys and pictures of his favourite players everywhere. For some reason, he always felt more confident wearing this jersey, and he usually played better too. He put it on and instantly felt happier. Back outside, it had stopped raining. Jack grabbed a frizzy tennis ball in both hands and practiced his passing. He kicked the ball through the defensive washing line like his heroes from the New South Wales Blues. He scooped up the ball, dodged around the flower beds, then dived into the ground, scoring a terrific try. Jack celebrated with a big kick into the crowd, but the ball sailed right over the fence and hit something with a satisfying thwack. Ow! squealed old Mrs. Bettershed, who had been busy digging up carrots. My bottom! Just then, Jack heard the familiar thump of a car door. Hello, Mrs. Bettershed, called Jack's dad, appearing in the back garden. Mrs. Bettershed glowered and speared the tennis ball with her hefty pitchfork. Sorry, said Jack, trying not to laugh. Hello, superstar, Dad said to Jack. I've bought us a present. Dad held out a bag and Jack peered inside. It was a brand new football. Not only that, it was in the colours of their favourite state of origin team, the New South Wales Blues. Cool, said Jack. We're celebrating, said Dad, because tonight is game one of the state of origin series. Whoosh. The pair were soon having their best ever game of footy. They seemed to play for hours. When they eventually stopped for tea, Dad said, I've spoken to our local team and they're having a trial tomorrow. They said you can come along if you want to. Really? said Jack. Awesome! Next day, father and son arrived at the football field. The changing rooms were bustling with children in blue and red bibs, nervously waiting to show off their skills. Out on the field, whistles tooted, players jumped, passed and caught and shouted, and balls flew everywhere. The coach soon signalled for Jack to join a game, and Jack raced over. He cheered when others made good breaks and encouraged players who missed conversions. When one boy fell over, Jack helped him up. There he is, what a really good sport. But secretly, Jack was worried about his own performance. When the halftime whistle blew, he had barely touched the ball, let alone scored a try. Someone near the sub's bench caught Jack's eye. It was his dad, waving madly. Jack jogged over and his dad pulled out Jack's favorite New South Wales Blues jersey from a backpack. Wear this under your bib, son. You always play brilliantly with this on. Jack did as his dad said. As he sprinted back onto the field, he imagined he was stepping out of the tunnel at ANZ Stadium. Blue and white banners rippled in the air while the crowd sang the national anthem. How exciting would that be? All of a sudden, Jack was the best player on the field. 
in the second half, he scored three incredible tries, while no one else scored more than one. He was confident. He was happy. He was playing like a star. At the end of the trial, the coach called out the names of the players who had made the final 13. Paul, Ryan, Bo, James, Robbie. Everyone clapped after each name. Aaron, Trent, Mitchell, Will, Michael. It sounds like the same names from one of the New South Wales Blues origin teams from a few years ago. Jack stared at his feet. Maybe he hadn't made the team after all. Josh, Brett. That wouldn't be the Morris brothers, would it? I think it might be. And finally, said the coach, one young man stood out as the kindest, friendliest lad on the field. And he sure can play rugby league. The coach turned to Jack. How would you like to be our captain? Woohoo! Jack leapt into the air, waving his arms in excitement. I'll take that as a yes, said the coach, and everyone laughed. Dad couldn't stop grinning. He praised Jack all the way home. You are amazing, son. Unstoppable. A real champion. Thanks, Dad, Jack replied. I can't wait for my first match, but one day, I suppose I won't be able to play for them anymore. Oh, why not? Asked Dad. Because when I grow up, I'm going to play for the Blues. And guess who else is going to play for the Blues? You are. Wow, what a great book. So many amazing lessons in here. This was one of my favorites. When the little boy fell over and Jack helped him up and he was encouraging players that missed their conversions. What a good sport. And then this bit here, when the coach said that Jack was the kindest and the friendliest lad on the field because it's not always about being the best, is it? It's about encouraging other people and playing like a good sport. So I hope you learnt lots during this book and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Thanks for reading it with me. We'll see you next time on the next video with Ozzy. Until then, stay keen. Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine I hope you enjoyed story time with Ozzy. If you did, make sure you get a grown up to help you hit subscribe. That way, you won't miss out on any of the new videos that come out. And did you happen to find the hidden Ozzy icon in that video? Make sure you look really closely because they're in every single video. And we'll see you again soon. Until then, stay keen. Aussie, 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 boy. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. Don't forget to follow Aussie on our social channels at Aussie for Kids. Feel free to send us some ideas on what you want to learn about next, what sports you'd like to play, jobs you want Aussie to feature, vehicles you're fascinated with, or any subjects you'd like to know more about. I'm just as keen as you, so together, let's learn more. And if you've got any friends that you think might like Aussie, don't forget to tell them too. We'll see you next time, kids. Until then, stay keen.